test, test, test. Let's do some warm ups. Legs hip width and kind of like rolls. We'll do seven on each side. And then the other side. <laughs> Improvise here. <laughs> ourselves in balance here. Nice grounding. Feet hip width across. And then we can kneel. And we'll do a forehead to each side. You might hear some sounds. <laughs> or not. I don't. But some people might hear a crinkle. <laughs> Let's do them like four times. Nice and gentle and slow. Put your head to your ear to your shoulder. Hold it for five to ten seconds. And upright. And then again. And then upright. Let's see. Do you see the beautiful sunset out there today? It's gorgeous. I decided to do an outdoor. I figured you'd like that. Of course. What's not to like, right? When you begin also, you can just lie gently on your back and release everything. Just like total relaxation. We can do that as well. But let's do some cat and cow. Go on our knees. Make sure you have something gentle and soft. And your hands down. Um, hip width, you know, across to your legs as well. And then your tummy's going to come up. And then you're going to lease it down. You'll see. Watch. I think you can see me from there. I'll move up a little so you can see me a little better. Rocks here. I don't want to injure myself. And so I put my head up, sink my body down, and then up. Let's do like four of these. Gentle and slow. We're not in a race. Finger fingers spread across. And if your hands hurt, you can always make a fist. There we go. And now, let's go ahead and do the tumble on your back. You might not be able to see me, but it's basically doing a tumble back. And then forward, you see. Let's do four of those. It's really good for the spine. There we go. Very good. I think you can see the sunset now, right? Almost that time. And let's do butterfly. Let's see. I don't think you can see my legs, but here we go. <laughs> So, put the feet together. You don't have to wear shoes, but I'm outside today, so I'm leaving my shoes on. <laughs> Master choice. <laughs> Teacher choice. Okay, so feet together, and then as close to your groin as possible. Hands on top of your feet. And just go ahead and try to bend them. 
like this. Gentle for a few seconds. There we go. Nice. You could do 20 if you like. Alrighty then. Do you know how to do half lotus position? Half lotus position is kind of like sitting cross-legged, but one foot on top of the other gently. I think it could see me. Let's see. I don't want to knock the screen over, but you know what I mean. Instead of um, cross-legged, you bring one leg on top of the other gently and you can even move it out a little so it's not so tight sit here relax for a few seconds and then you can switch the legs same thing the other leg on top of the other <laughs> and just relax it's a nice hip opener feels nice. Gentle touch. So let's do three different exercises for the root chakra today. Feet flat on the ground. See? Hip width across. And go ahead and bend like this. And keep the hands out. Right. And then stand up. Let's do ten of those. It's almost like frog pose, but that'll be a different day. And gentle. We don't have to be in a race. I think we're at four. Three more. Eight. If you haven't done them in a while, you feel them. Nine. And ten. Good. Now we're going to lie back. We're going to put, we're going to bend one leg out, stretch to the right. Leave one leg straight and lie back. I'll just stay like this, but you can lie back and just relax. And then you can put that leg straight. This leg. And then bend it again to your knee area. And then put it straight. We'll do it four times. And let's do the other side. It looks like I have a <laughs> crown halo, huh? With the sunset. Nice. There we go. So that's like two exercises for the root chakra. Let's do one more. Let's see. We can lie back, put our knees, bend our knees, and we're going to then touch with our head to our knees and tighten our body. But breathe. <laughs> Here we go. Like that. Do two of those. There you go. Now we're going to sit down. Of course, when we're working with root chakra, we should be wearing red, but hey, I have a little red in my bandana here. <laughs> Go ahead. Put our fingers like this and lie them on our lap. All right. Now we're just going to rest our hands and rest like this and breathe deeply in through our nose and deeply out. And exhale, 
pronounced Lang, L-A-N-G, but spelled Lamb, L-A-M. Let's do that seven times. focus at the third eye and just relax and just sit there with it and feel amazing. Now we're going to do chakra for the sacral chakra, the second chakra, which is orange. And again, if you're only working on the second chakra in a week or something of like that nature, then go ahead and eat lots of foods like we talked about in part two. Lots of orange. Wear orange. <laughs> but today I'm going to bring you through like a few exercises. This one we're going to lie down. Hands are going to be out. Feet are going to be up like this. And then I'm going to put my legs to each side of the body seven times. Let's do it like that. And again, I'm just going to put my legs up and then they're just going to fall to this side. My head's going to be that way. And then my legs are going to fall the other side. Don't think you'll see me, but you get the picture. <laughs> Here we go. And you can keep your head straight up if you want to. Or you can turn it the opposite of your legs. How nice to do yoga outside if you're able to. I'm at number five. Hopefully next time I'll have it set up where you can see my legs a little better when I'm lying down. But I just don't want you to miss the awesome sunset today. <laughs> there we go. And that's called crocodile pose. Now, we'll do a second um, exercise. I'll try to do two or three for each chakra. We'll see how many we do today of each chakra. But we're going to lie down on our backs, and then come up like doing a sit-up, and we'll do seven, okay? So you're just going to lie down, hands are going to be on your knees or thighs, and then when you come up like this, you're just going to touch your feet, okay? Here we go. And only seven today. When you get in the habit... You could do 20 or 30 if you like. 50. 100. <laughs> Don't push yourself too much. And this will be 7. Here we go. Now, we're going to stand. Our hands are going to be in Goober like this. Touching the thumb and the first finger. And watch. And it just depends. Some people might just, you know, you put your hands out. And some people could only touch to right here. And that's okay. We'll do that for a few seconds. Well, some of you might be able to put your foot up farther. Like this. And hold it. Um, you know, 30 seconds, a minute, what have you. It's a really great balance. We could do it with the other leg. If you want to do it for two minutes, you're welcome to do it. And again. And some people, you know, we could call a tree pose. <laughs> want to go ahead and touch. It's up to you. When you get more balance, you know, then I welcome you to try it for a minute or longer. It'll be great for you. 
let's work on the third chakra today. And then I think we'll do part four tomorrow. It's, or, you know, we'll see how much time we have. Um, yeah. So, navel chakra. Remember yellow. Think yellow. Sunset. What we're going to do is lie back. And we're going to bring each foot up one at a time. One foot's going to stay, you know, forward. So, when we're lying back, one foot's going to stay straight. And the other one's going to come up and bend. And we're going to wrap our arms around it. Okay? So, lie back. Take one leg, lift it, and hold it for five to ten seconds. Then release and do the other leg. Five to ten seconds. Let's do this three times. Change legs. Change legs. And hold it down. And one more. It's nice to see the sky <laughs> moving. It's pretty awesome like this. I haven't done yoga outside in a while. Very good. Alrighty, so for the third chakra again. Now, this gets a little bit more tedious here. And if you're ready for it, it's up to you. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put our feet straight. And my hands are going to go behind me like this. And I'm going to lift my body up. But my feet are going to stay straight and on the ground and point it. Watch. Like this. And head in the line. And we'll hold it for like 10 to 20 seconds. And then we can let go. Because I have to build up my wrist. Haven't done it in a while. <laughs> I'm feeling it in the wrist. Let's try that again. Again, <coughs> if you're working on mostly the solar plexus, third chakra, you can wear yellow that week, eat different yellow foods, bananas, apricots, etc. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Hands back. Legs straight. And let's count to 10 to 20. Wow, I'm really feeling that in my wrist. And boat pose. I haven't done this one in a while either. <laughs> it's going to be fun. <laughs> so I'm going to lay on my belly, as you are. My chin is going to be tucked. When I'm lying on my belly, I'm going to put my feet up, like around, and I'm going to grab my feet with my hands. And then I pull like this and all like chest open and solar plexus here. And I'm gonna pull as hard as I can, you know, gently of course, um, to open all this area up. So here we go. I don't know if you'll see me, but we'll try it. And you might see a part. Here we go. So lie back, lie on your forehead. Grab your feet, and one, two, three, lift up. Ow, oh, when you haven't done that in a while, you can surely feel it. And hold it for 10 seconds, and release. Let's try that again. Boat pose. Very good. If you want to try it one more time, you're welcome to it. I'm going to try it next time because I'm just recuperating. <laughs> I had that silly coronavirus. It's no fun. <laughs> so, like yesterday, I did 660 stairs. I could have done more, but, you know, we're supposed to be gentle with ourselves. So, one of my favorite poses, well, might as well go on to the heart chakra now. Green, think green. Since it's still beautiful out here and <laughs> we can still see the sunset. Um, cobra posture. This is going to be called Cobra. It's similar to the last one, except we're not grabbing our feet. Um, we're going to lay on our stomachs. We're going to 
put the feet out and then I'm gonna lift gently here while I'm laying on my belly I'm taking my hands and clasping, clasping my hands behind my back like this and I'm gonna be going like this and pull my hands up or back okay ready let's do it you might have to remove your glasses if you're wearing them hands behind clasp feet straight lift and pull back and count to ten go try it again and breathe Very good. Like I said, I haven't done a few of these poses in a while. And let's do triangle pose. Triangle pose is really good for the heart chakra. Triangle. We're going to stand up. We're going to put our feet out. One foot's going to be turned left and the other one's straight. And now take my left hand, gently slide it down while this hand, the opposite hand, goes up and over. Let's just hold it like this till we get used to that side. And hold it for a few seconds. Let's do the other side. Turn the foot, the right foot to the right. Left foot straight. Let's do this again. Slide the right hand down. Do the opposite. Hand up. Don't hurt. Don't put too much pressure on the knees. And there we go, it's called triangle. And hold it for 10 to 20 seconds. Another way you can do this is, again, this foot, right foot straight, the other foot pointed that way. And hands out like this, I love this one. And I'm twist my body. And I'm gonna put my hand all the way down. And then hands all the way up. And you can look up, be careful, balance. Or you can look down, you can look straight. And you can feel that right in here, in the thigh area is where I feel it. And then bend and we come up. Let's do the other side like that. Make the right foot straight. And make this one this straight this way. And this one pointed that way. Hands up. Twist the body a little here. Bend down. Hands down to the ankles. Ooh, I'm feeling that. Haven't done it in a while again. Nice balance. Hold it 10 to 20 seconds. Bend that knee and come back up. There we go. Nice. Well, do you want to continue? We could do another heart opening one. You could stand and we're gonna go inhale while we stretch our arms to the sides like a T. In seven seconds, slowly exhale and then arms fall to the sides. We'll do that four times. Stretch, spread your legs really far. Bring your hands up, open, and drop. Again, open, and drop. Two more times, breathe, and one more time. It's a great heart opening, yes. So, I have a feeling we can do the throat chakra. What do you think? Should we continue? <laughs> huh. We can continue if you like. So I'm sitting on my knees. My hands are on my knees here, my thighs. And it's gonna be funny, you're gonna laugh. <laughs> and it's called lion pose. Lion pose is when you stick your tongue out and you go, <sighs> like a lion. <sighs> Don't worry, no one's watching. And um, so we're gonna go ahead, sit in like a Japanese posture, knees and sh on shins, 
and our palms on our knees like I said deep inhale through your nose when you exhale lean forward and stretch your fingers out and tighten your arm muscles open your eyes and mouth as wide as you can and stick out your tongue at the same time like a lion all right here we go <sighs> Like that. Don't forget to open your eyes wide. Alrighty, I think you did a good job. Lion pose. Great for throat chakra communication. Now we're going to do crescent moon. We're going to kneel on the floor with our right leg forward so that forms a 90 degree. And we're just going to relax on each side is what we're going to do. And then we're going to lift our hands to the top. So here we go. So we're going to kneel. Bring one foot forward like this. We're kneeling with this leg. And then we take it forward like I said. Where you're not in the shin. Don't hurt your knees. And bring it up. Hold it for a few seconds. And let go. Let's do that again. And up and forward. Let's try the other side. Here we go. Your knee forward, but be gentle. It always should line up here and then forward. We're just giving you a little stretch right in here in your thighs. Here we go. Very good. So, what do we have left here? We have Oh, we have forehead chakra. <laughs> yeah. Where we can just sit in easy pose. And we sit cross-legged if you like. It'll stimulate the forehead chakra. And we can move our eyes around in circles or left and right as well. We can move our eyes up and down seven times and then right to left and then circular and it's really good let's do that let's do our eyes up and down seven times and breathe now left to right <laughs> And then around. <laughs> let's do three times around each side. Now let's clap our hands, rub them gently, and put our hands over our eyes gently. Very nice. While our eyes are closed. <laughs> That's really, really good. This next one, we can lie down on our bellies. Our face is touching the ground and we'll bring each foot while we're laying on our belly up and then down and then up and then down like that okay I think you got it we're lying on our belly we're um, foreheads touching the ground arms are just gently touching and then feet will come up each one we'll do seven okay here we go you might not be able to see me but you know what I'm doing right Forehead down, bring one leg up, down. Opposite leg up, down. Second time, opposite leg, opposite, 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 four, opposite, opposite. One more time. And that's stimulating the forehead chakra there. Very nice. Few more to go and we'll call it a day. <laughs> huh. Now we can lie down like we were. Um, kind of like a tumble set, but our forehead's touching the ground. And we're going to be breathing in it. So our forehead's touching the ground. Our feet are like together like this 
and her arms are just gonna lie like this. So like lying like a baby pose. Let's do baby pose. And a doggy bark in the background. <laughs> I guess they're at the park here having fun with their owners running around. Let's do this one. This is really good. Let's close our left nostril with our ring finger and our little finger at the same time. Open the right nostril and exhale for 16 seconds. Okay? So close the left nostril with your ring finger and little finger and open the right nostril and exhale for 16 seconds. Then breathe through your right nostril for eight seconds. Then close the nostril with the thumb. We'll do the opposite and exhale through 16 seconds. Now let's do this side. Eight seconds in, 16 seconds out, eight seconds in, 16 seconds out. <laughs> do you have that down? <laughs> and if not, you just play around with it. It's just fun. The breathing out of the both nostrils helps clear everything. You can work with what, you know, working with what you have. Let's do a simple simple exercise to end the program. Let's see. Okay, let's do the crown chakra. Mine as well. First one, we're going to sit in easy pose like I'm doing. And we're going to put our hands right above our head here. And our spine straight. Cross legged, close our eyes, lift your arms over your head so that your palms are touching directly over your head with your fingers pointing upwards, lightly stretch your spine. Inhale and exhale deeply several times. Very nice. Very, very nice. And then a modified headstand, if you, I could tell you how to do it, you put your forehead down. Your hands will be like this by your ears, by a little ways, and then your legs straight. I could try it <laughs> and breathe always. So, modify headstand. Our head down, forehead down, legs straight. There we go. It puts some pressure, it seems, on my arms. <laughs> as it will yours and that's really good for the you know we don't have to do a whole headstand or anything and I don't know if you know how to do uh, oh let me think what you call it it's basically <laughs> similar to what we just did but then you try to bring your legs up and put them on top of here watch forehead down and then feet come up and try to sit on top. Since I don't think I'm going to try it today because um, remember I'm just recovering, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's do dancer pose. It's the best. And that's the highest. And then we can end the program here today. Dancer pose. We'll bring right arm up. Right leg stays straight. Left leg comes up gently. And then as we're pulling our left leg, we're going to lean forward, keep the hips straight, and then pull back. Dancer pose. Look straight. And let's do the opposite side. So, arm up, leg straight, bend leg, opposite, pull up, go forward. Let's see how I can do this. Here we go. This is such a great balance dancer pose. There we go. And you can hold it longer if you like. 
so I want to close. Um, let's see if I have a meditation. Well, we can sit in easy pose. Concentrate on our chakra, crown chakra. And become aware of this chakra and how it connects us to the universe. And then we're going to do a mantra. It creates a circle of energy that activates the crown chakra. So touch the tips of your fingers together. Then we're going to interlace with the other fingers with your right thumb on top of your left thumb. Hold your hands in front of your chest a couple inches from your body. Inhale deeply through your nose. Unless it's blocked. As you exhale into the mantra, Om, seven times quietly and calmly. This repetition should be spaced evenly like the chimes of a clock. Alrighty, and then we exhale. Slowly inhale through your nose. Repeat the cycle seven times throughout the entire meditation period. Your awareness should be directed to your crown chakra. So, as we're saying... Let's go ahead and bend the fingers, keep the two pointer fingers straight, and then as I was saying, um, the thumb, the other fingers, the, the right thumb on top of your left thumb, and just out gently from the heart, here we go, see, and I'm going to say um to myself seven times. Have a wonderful week. Hope you enjoy this and see you again.